What's up, Trojans? You like that? <laughs> Giants get the win in Minnesota against all the odds. It was an amazing game. Uh, Giants, that offense was amazing today. Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, Isaiah Hodgins, Richie James, Darius Slayton had that drop in the end, but in the beginning, absolute fire. Everybody showed up today. Daniel Bellinger had a touchdown. Everyone showed up today, especially on the offense. It was just an amazing game. Great to see. And I'm glad the Giants seem to have finally really turned that corner. This one win makes the entire season really worth it. It really highlights the progress the Giants have gone through this season as a franchise and just everything. I mean, John Mars done kicking trash cans, you know? <laughs> the Giants have come so far from last season to 4-13, and QB sneaking it twice in a row, to now winning in the playoffs? This is amazing. The turnaround is surreal. Amazing to be part of it. You see this happen to other teams, like, time and time and again. It's like, man, when are the Gi- when's that going to be the Giants? This season, it's the Giants. This season has been amazing, and I'm excited for so much more of it. I, you know, I was um, skeptical of uh, sitting the starters against Philly, but it seems to have worked out. Uh, I think pl- having the backups play Philly as close as they did was actually became a huge momentum boost, probably the same as beating them with the starters. Be like, wow, this is how close we can get with the backups? Let's get the starters in, and we can definitely beat them. Now, <laughs> we get Philly up next. That's, that's going to be another huge game. That game's going to be way bigger than this. Uh, Giants really need to win that one. That, after that game, you know, uh, my season, if, if the Giants can beat Philly, a Super Bowl would be amazing. I'd be ecstatic. But the Giants could knock Philly out of the playoffs and make it that much farther in the postseason. My season would be complete. <laughs> um, but no. Giants have been electric this season. It's been an amazing thing to see. Uh, Brian Dable is an amazing head coach. Continues to just really highlight that every single thing he does. All the calls today were on point. And, you know, it's highlighted in the fact that Mike Kafka has job interviews to be a head coach. This is a first-year offensive coordinator. Yeah, the Giants' offense has improved a ton. Yeah, it's probably in large part due to Mike Kafka, but a first-year offensive coordinator already getting head coaching gigs. Someone else is doing something right, and it's definitely Brian Dable, but it's also these players. Daniel Jones has turned a huge corner this season. Saquon Barkley is now fully back from injury, and some other guys, you know, (laughs) I don't know where some of these other guys are coming from. I mean, yeah, you knew Andrew Thomas would be good, but guys like Isaiah Hodgins and Richie James, and I thought maybe they'd get a couple catches for us here and there. Clutch pieces in this game. Darius Slayton, you know, you think he's going to be a deep threat every now and then. I guess that's really all he amounted to in this game, but he was huge. His catches were huge. He was a big help in this game. And... It just shows the progress the Giants have had. You know, they're, you know, when we have losing seasons like four and thirteen, four and twelve, three and thirteen, no one wants to touch any of our coaches. Like, no, no, no interviews for you guys. I mean, yeah, we had a couple after a six and ten season, and then the uh, you know Patrick Graham got a couple even in our uh, four and thirteen season, I suppose. But yeah, it's, it's not popular. You start doing good. Teams start to notice. They start to want those assistant coaches. They, they want a piece of that. Oh, uh, so <laughs> another video another time. I want to go over this Vikings win because it was a huge victory. Vikings decided to come out strong to be expected. The Giants offense showed up fast, though. Daniel Jones looked like a playoff quarterback. Daniel Jones was elite in this game. Daniel Jones was everything I wanted to see in a Giants quarterback, uh, you know, after Eli and more. <laughs> Daniel Jones was everything the Giants needed. 
I mean, <laughs> you know, it makes 2019 seem like, wow, how, how would anybody boo this guy? <laughs> you know, I, I was definitely in that camp. Daniel Jones continues to surprise. Giants are up, up 14 to 7. Let's not diminish Saquon, especially in uh, that first drive. Saquon Barkley had that huge long run for the touchdown uh, to cap that drive off. Saquon was electric today, too, but he wasn't the complete star of the show. Daniel Jones had a lot of rushing yards, too. Daniel Jones had over 300 passing yards. Daniel Jones was everywhere the Giants needed him to be when they needed him most. Saquon was there, too, but Saquon wasn't the absolute and only star. Saquon... You know, this, this, this is sort of the performance I think someone would expect from Saquon, but Daniel Jones did better than I even expected. Daniel Jones was just so freaking good today. We had Danny Dimes out there today. And those wide receivers. Isaiah Hodgins. I don't think he dropped a single pass. I don't. He. I think the only one target was missed, and that's because Daniel Jones did overthrow him by a good bit. But, man... Just what a performance by the offense today. Giants are up so fast, it felt like. And that that's where I started to be like, oh, Giants. Giants got to finish this. The Giants got to keep this lead. And, you know, this is where the defense started to fall apart. You know, you go into the half, 17-14. Oh, before that, though, Daniel Jones, Saquon, Berkeley, everybody involved in this drive. A 10-minute drive in the second quarter. That certainly helps things. Yeah, it only amounted in a field goal, but that was a huge drive. Drives like that are what have helped the Giants out a lot this season. There's been several drives like that. You think of that a long drive. I forget the exact number of plays and yards now, but against Washington in Sunday Night Football. This offense, and this offense is... I'm starting to feel like this offense is better than this defense. It was the longest time. I, you know, I'm just like, all right, at least the defense has been holding up. The offense has been inconsistent. Lately, the offense has been the star of the show, and the defense has been inconsistent. That's okay, though. As long as someone's the star of the show and the other one's holding up well enough, it's all right. 17-14, going to the half, not bad. Vikings decide to come out strong. Giants, again, were able to answer back and stay on top. At a 24-24 tie, Daniel Jones gets the ball. Touchdown. He, he takes it. He takes it. You know, that was, uh, I think that one was the Bellinger touchdown. Uh, the first uh, touchdown pass uh, Jones threw was Hodgins. I mean, <laughs> Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, everyone involved in that drive. <laughs> that was the drive the Giants needed to be up. 31-24, and then the defense came to play. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, when the Giants got the ball back, they couldn't uh, drown, you know, drain that entire clock. The defense had to come back and in play again. And the refs, they tried their best. Wasn't enough. Uh, no, the refs, uh, the, uh, the officiating just wasn't good. Uh, I think both sides kind of benefited from some bad, some bad calls. There, there was a lot of bad goal, calls. The officiating was really bad. That roughing the passer was horrible at the end. But <laughs> Xavier McKinney, him being back, he was able to make the game-winning tackle. Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams, that interior pressure was huge in this game. Unfortunately, Aziz Ojolari had to go out with an injury. He, he wasn't doing much in this game anyway. I think he only had a couple plays that he was in even. It's a shame he couldn't uh, get a sack in there. I have no idea uh, what his injury is, why he was out. They showed him on the sideline still in pads, so I guess there was always a shot he might come back and play. Giants are going to need everyone against Philly. I was so nervous uh, when Kayvon got injured. Though, but unfortunately, or <laughs> fortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately, it was minor. Unfortunately, he got injured at all. Uh, Giants need to stay healthy. Giants are going to need everything in Philly next week. Hopefully, that's a Saturday game. Uh, just personal preference this time. And, uh, yeah, 
Hoping the Giants. Uh, first, give me the first game, too. Give me, like, Saturday afternoon, you know? Just that Saturday afternoon game. It'd be great. Just first one. Get everyone's eyes on it in that divisional set. I don't know when they'll book it. I don't know how it works. If they go by seeding, if they go by... I don't know what they go by in that. So... Giants get that huge win against Minnesota, though. I'm so excited that the Giants were able to get a victory in the playoffs. I, man, last, uh, last Giants playoff win I saw was in the year 2012, you know, the 20, 2011 season where they got that Super Bowl victory. That was the last one I saw. Last one that I think there was. Uh, but I was not as big of a fan of the Giants as I am now. I've... I've been following this team uh, since the 2016 season. I know, a great time to get in. And this is the first time they've won a playoff game. You know, they got to the playoffs that year. And, you know, uh, um, but Brian Dable's actually a really good head coach. He closed off all waterways. I didn't hear any stories about Giants taking unnecessary vacations this time. Everyone came prepared to the game, and it showed um, the only, the only gripe I really have about the game is some, the coverage. Like, you gotta find a way to cover some guys. Felt like Hawkinson, Jefferson, they did whatever they wanted to this defense, but even the defense was clutch when it counted. The defense came through, you know, and I, I don't even know, I, I guess the only guy to point the finger at on some of those is Wink Martindale, because I felt like that was a scheme thing, and they're, in the defensive and offensive schemes, were on point against Philly. I hope they held back a little bit because if they were able to draw up a scheme like that with their backups against Philly, I hope they have the best scheme in the freaking world for them next week. I'm really excited for that game. The Giants need that win. Daniel Jones, he better show up again. Giants are going to need him. Daniel Jones is everything the Giants have wanted and more this season. Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, they're getting paid this offseason. Honestly, I'd start paying Dexter Lawrence and Andrew Thomas just to move the money around uh, to pay these guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just so excited. I'll end it there. Uh, really excited to get that win. Can't wait for next week, though. Philly is my least favorite team in the NFL. Uh and the Giants, it, it would just be amazing if the Giants could pick them off, get them out of the playoffs. No no interceptions for the Giants today. There, there's a couple close ones. Julian Love uh, just couldn't quite make that diving catch at one point in the game. That one would have been huge. Giants got the win anyway. Um, everything worked out uh, as it should because the Giants definitely deserved to win that one. They were They were definitely playing like the better team today, in my opinion. And... Uh, hopefully, uh, Xavier McKinney and Julian Love, and honestly, Cordell Flott had a huge breakup too. Give Cordell Flott an interception against Philly next week, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping uh, the defense can force a lot of turnovers next week against Philly. Uh, they have a pretty solid defense. Daniel Jones is definitely going to have to show up against them to be able to put up the performance he did against Minnesota. He, he, he was amazing uh, today. Against the Vikings, I mean, just <laughs> he was he was putting the team on his back. So many runs, he didn't do it as much in the second half, but he was throwing more in the second half too. Or maybe not more pass attempts. It just felt like you know, more was there. He was he was just you know staying in the pocket and throwing. Then a couple design runs for him in the second half. Saquon didn't get a ton of uh, runs. Maybe that will change against Philly. I'm sure this, this, they'll come up with a completely different game plan for Philly and be ready to go. I'm excited for it. I'm already getting hyped up for that game. Got a whole week of that. That's why I want to play Saturday. Just, like, as soon as possible, I want to see Philly. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'll have a video out. Uh, you know, Philly, no matter, no matter how it goes, I'll, I'll try to get that video out. Well, see, I think the Giants have a really good shot. I like that matchup. Giants, you know, the first matchup wasn't good. The second one, we almost had them, though. Philly has not looked like the same Philly they were earlier in the season. The Eagles are very, very beatable.
And I think of the Giants. Might just be the perfect team to knock them out of the postseason. See you guys in the next one.